The final chapter, that's what they're calling it. And no, we're not talking about Hero Fix final chapter. We have nothing but goals ahead of us. And that kind of goes the same for these gentlemen right here. Seth Rollins, your new Universal Champion. Roman Reigns, he's got a brand new yard that he's about to claim here. Dean Ambrose, though, this is kind of the reason for you, sir. Now, this will be a two-part event. And yes, we will cover all the figures in both of these boxes. We're going to do an action figure setup to commemorate the shield right here. Now, as you guys can see, I want to show you guys some real quick. Up here, up top, you can see all the shelves, right? They're all loaded up here. But right there, there's just a huge void right there in the middle. You guys see that? That's where all of those figs stood at one point. So we had to gather them up, put them in boxes, and I figured we'd do a video to get it prepped up for the setup over here. We got the arena all laid out, and it's going to be epic. Guys, I hope you enjoy it. You know Rollins. You know the big dog would only want to see, well, I guess Dean Ambrose. Too. Of, course, of course, Dean Ambrose. And I'm sure we'll still see him back in the field. I think he's just taking a break, you guys. I wouldn't, took, I wouldn't look too much into it from what I hear. He just wants some kind of break from wrestling. I'm sure he'll be back healthy, stronger than ever, and he'll most likely get the push that he was looking for. That being said, though, let's get into both of these boxes. Last thing, I noticed that a lot of you have been enjoying the shoutouts that we've been doing on the channel. So what I want you to do, in the comment section right now, tell me which one of these superstars is the best out of the three. Rollins, Roman Reigns, or Ambrose. Tell me why whichever comment gets the most amount of likes, we'll do a shoutout in a future video. Now, some of these right here, I think a lot of you guys will enjoy these customs. These customs have been created by, not only by yours truly, but also ultimately some of the best. This Thanos right here, this was made by Mac Decals. Base, well, it's not Thanos. It's Rollins based off the Marvel character Thanos right here. He's always hit me up on the DM. <laughs> He's always like, when are you going to take that vest off? Uh, I don't know if I, dude, I honestly, I don't want to take this off. I know he looks just as good with it off, but I think what really makes this figure, it's got to be that accessory that he'd added to that, man. The detail on this is incredible. Now, one figure, actually three out of the figures that really stood out to me from this whole collection, it's got to be the Shield 3-pack. And I'm not talking about the Epic Moments. Epic Moments was great. There were some great uh, positive things about it. But this Walmart one here, the Walmart exclusive, the then now forever, something about these removable masks, dude, epic. And now my Roman Reigns did get converted because I really needed. You're going to notice that a lot of these Roman Reigns do have a upgrade from basic to elite. So you'll see that here. But these masks, dude, yeah, you can actually utilize these not just on these three, but I remember doing it also to my Triple H. And yes, we're going to consider Triple H part of the shield. I think him, you know, wearing the suit for several amount of matches. I, I would, I don't know, if you, would you guys consider him part of the shield? I think him and Kurt Angle really were probably two out of the best additions to it. I can't necessarily uh, count Jason Jordan. I mean, he did partner with them. But when he threw the fist in the middle, nobody celebrated. I mean, the guy, get he got left hanging. He was just out there, and he was expecting some kind of fist pump, but nobody wanted to do it. But you know what, Jason Jordan? Sure. Just for, for today's special occasion, we'll add you in there. Now, BEW, I am stoked to say that I'm very thankful and blessed that not only one, but two of the head scans that we got from BEW. He actually, this is the one that I had ordered when he did it a while back. But he had posted this one in his story saying, does anybody need a Dean Ambrose? And I was like, over here, dude. He's like, wait, didn't I already make you one? You sure did. <laughs> now, Elite Series 69, I know we talked about it earlier, early on in the week. The crew cut look, this look that you're seeing right here on this Dean Ambrose was the look that we were supposed to get with that weight. But because of the cancellation or, you know, because of Ambrose just leaving WWE, they pulled him from the line, which sucks. Because I can tell you, at least 99% of the figgy population wanted this Ambrose in the collection. Now, one of the most recent added right here, the one that Hero Figs picked up the brush on, it's the Beast Slayer attire. WrestleMania, Night After Mania, however you want to look at this figure right here, this is just, oh my gosh, I am so stoked. And I really Really, a, a huge shout out to all of you guys, man, on Instagram when I posted this uh, midweek. You guys really loved it. I mean, I think it, it has to be one of the most liked pictures in 2019 so far. So I thank you guys for that. Sure, right there, custom figure clothing. This is all line work painted right here. Um, none, none of this is decals, and that goes the same right there for the knee pad. Roman Reigns right here. We did have to get that shirt, man. When he came back, we fight, we overcome, we believe. Do you guys believe, though, right, that he's going to come? conquer that smackdown no 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 he, he's not saying that he's gonna conquer he's already telling you that it's his yard so this shirt right here again that, that guy man custom figure shirts is always on top of it this 
money. No, no, no. It was the money in the bank. He carried, he came with the money in the bank briefcase. He came with the WWE title, but it wasn't the WWE title that had the plates. This one actually came with like the painted on actual plates on the figure. This was a Toys R Us exclusive, and I think it was called Seth Cashes in. Elite Series 38 right here. We have the partial blonde, the partial black, and he carried this for a good portion of his career where he had part of it. I mean, even back to the NXT days, this figure right here eventually did evolve. I mean, the, the look of the attires, as you can see with Rollins, it did change. I mean, the line work that you're seeing on the side of the tights, they were very similar and identical how they were all lined up on the sides, but it was a design that you noticed as, you know, he evolved in his career, as well as the vest. The vest always got creative and then not only he didn't just stop there he actually started evolving to some more marvel characters this was based off the deadpool character right here a lot of people were saying that it wasn't but he did confirm it and assure it that, that that's kind of the look that he was going for now the one right here the this is kind of the continuation of all these three and i gotta bring these three i know i just showed you the bew scan right here but this one was made by figure lick and good actually all three of these were and you guys, here's another set that you just complete. You guys were amazed. And then once we also added the additions of the fix-ups of the head scans, these, um, they're, they're fantasy. They're, they've never worn this. And I think when Dean Ambrose does come back, which he will, you know he will, drop a like and let me know if you think that Dean Ambrose will make his way back to the WWE ring. This is what they would wear. I think this is what they would wear over there at the Tribute to the Troops right here. So these three, nice addition. Now, Dean Ambrose, the thing about Dean Ambrose attire is that well I kind of I guess that also applies for Roman Reigns they were all very similar when it came to these there was just I mean it was the tank top mold that you noticed the difference well as well as the split hair design this was his uh curly hairstyle and not actual curly hair but the look of the three stooges right there he went from a tank top mold to an actual where is it I know we got don't worry we'll find him in here so let's let's find a little bit more we got some Roman Reigns elite conversions no this one was not converted this was already from Elite Series 56, only Roman to have the white outsoles right there. We have the Bears Seth Rollins custom attire, another one made right here by Hero Figs. Then this is, yeah, Chicago Bears. That's that's the thing that he, I guess he was trying to go with right here when he captured the orange, the white, and the blue. He did have a vest, but there was never any clear images well enough for me to execute the actual vest. So I just went based off what I could find. And I think overall, I am very satisfied. I even captured those like bright, uh, what do they call, um, the blue lines right there. It's like a special bright color. Um, I know we did a tutorial video on this one as well as the most recent. So go on the channel because I know you guys are always asking like, how do you make these, bro? We always try to try to educate you guys best we can to how to make some of these. Because I know a lot of you have been asking to, to, for me to do more tutorial videos right here. Dean Ambrose, this is one of the three pack. No, yes, it was the epic moments. It was the he did come with two interchangeable shirts. One of them was this one that you're seeing on this elite, and the other one was the same one that you'll see right here on Roman Reigns. Some of the shirts on Ambrose. It's not that I haven't misplaced them, but I just think that this one looks a lot better shirtless because this was the only Dean Ambrose that we uh, that we had gotten shirtless. Not accurate torso anymore because of all the you know gains that the guy has gotten, but still pretty cool. Roman Reigns right here. I know this one was definitely a fix-up. This one uh, had come off the basic, the vest right there, as well as a conversion on the skin right here to get it to get it right. This is the kind of the return, like when they weren't wearing the shirts right here that you saw with uh, you know where, where they have all three of them with the epic moment shirt this was his actual in-ring gear that he wore regularly now we got uh some more basic dean ambrose this one was based off the battle pack that had come with uh shane mcmahon and this one this had several re-releases this one had at least three maybe even four re-releases the only like difference that you notice between this and the other uh, figures that you'll notice in here will be the style of the hair as well as the wrist tape i know some of them had the white now elite series 65 was it 65 or 66 i think it was 65 the one the first one that came with the interchangeable hands right there with the hang loose the one that we will see right here in elite series 68 69 that one will have the actual first time in the line uh fist right there so we can we'll actually be able to do the superman punch rollins right here i have a couple of these i know that they had these on sale 
um, what was that? I think it was like 15 bucks that I had found them on sale. So I picked up several of these for not only the head scan, but also to make customs of. And I know this specific attire has been featured on the channel on those uh, wrestling figure matches. This one is, yeah, one of my favorites just because of the differences between that as well as the traditional look that we saw with the rest of the Rollins where it was just a line work right here. This one. We actually have two up. We have the one that I made right here, the one that you're seeing, and then we also have one by uh, your boy Natty or Custom or Angels uh, Angel Styles 13. He also made one, and I got that in trade, and I'll show you that one in just a sec. But this is based off when he became Grand Slam Champion at WrestleMania. It was a triple threat match. Him, Finn Balor, and I believe The Miz. We have another Dean Ambrose right here. One of the most recent ones. This one was from Series 96, 95, 96. Series 96, or yeah, 96 right here. One of the most recent waves that we just posted on the channel. This one, and I believe this one also shared the same scan. But this is the one off the Elite. I had to get it swapped out, man. That one was terrible. I got an upgrade on the Elite that you might see here you know what it's actually standing right here in the middle of us right here in front of us um we'll get more in depth because i just made this fix up so you guys will see that here on the channel soon enough roman reigns the one vest that kind of stands out from the rest i haven't converted this one yet but i do expect to do that at some point with the blue outline as well as the on the actual pants themselves dean ambrose right here another basic it's got the dean unstable most of these are elites but i still dude i can't pass it up man if they're gonna release my three of my top favorite dudes i gotta get it in both uh both waves next up we have which one do I, i'm like hopping around because i don't even know where to go we'll do two at a time this this go around because there is so much to cover i think i figure if we execute two at once and this is kind of a similar look where they both wore the red this one came off a battle pack I think Roman Reigns was the other figure in the line. And I know he was also released in the individual wave with the exact same vest where he's got the Superman punch right there. This Ambrose, or this Rollins right here, I did do a shirt. I, I originally did have this on the Elite, but since he kept updating them like regularly, I think during this time, dude, he went from like Burn It Down to Monday Night Rollins to this one right here. So I just eventually <laughs> gave up and I put it on one of my basics to kind of make it blend in with the rest of the collection. Angel Styles 13, here we found it, and don't you worry, we knew we did do a comparison side by side of the ones that we did get from Natty, and then the one that we actually made right here. So different scans, that's the main, the main significant differences as well as the shading of the silver, the blue eyes right there on the screaming scan, he did do. And I just got this one right here from the Miz, was it the Miz? Yes, the Miz Battle Pack with Rollins, so we both got the blue co contacts right there. And they did just release the Game of Thrones figure, so I, I'm actually pretty stoked. I actually, one thing that I wanted to do is that we wanted to take some pictures right there on the Insta to kind of reflect the differences between the actual character and then Rollins. So we got a couple of big dogs. We got both of these converted. This vest came off the battle pack with, I think it was Bray Wyatt. It was Bray Wyatt or Rusev. It was one or the other. Um, and then this one right here, this was from series, I think, 80, early, early, like the, like early 80 series with the orange converted onto the elite, as well as the updated look right here with the true FX on both of them. Yes, sir, man. Dean Ambrose, we got a couple more. We have the one that, I think this one was the Toys R Us exclusive. Yes, this one was the Toys R Us exclusive. And this one was kind of almost similar, except the shirt right here. No, you know, as a matter of fact, underneath this as well, it did have the same mold where it had the black tank top. It was just that one came with the shirt right there with the DA shirt. And the other one just came with, I think it was uh, Money in the Bank briefcase. And then also the title. Was it the Money in the Bank? I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm, <laughs> there's just so many figures, man. Like when it comes to these, it's hard to remember to which ones. This one was his very first actual release in his non-shield look. This Ambrose right here. Um. Prior to this, we had one, which, and we'll get into, which was very similar to the Then Now Forever, but this one came with the accessory of the removable, uh, removable vest and the only white tank top Dean Ambrose. No, you know what? There was one more. Um, I think the, the same way where they had Cactus Jack, I think that one also had the tank top or the white tank top underneath it. We're going to do a couple more big ducks to kind of carry the party through. Roman Reigns. Toys R Us exclusive, WWE title, that's the one that came with the gold one. And then this one, I believe this was Elite Series 53, 51. Again, early 50 series right here for Roman Reigns. But this one got the uh, the upgrade on the, on the head swap. 
And this one right here just got, or I kept the, I think I, all about this figure right here, this all kept the same traditional look that we got with the Toys R Us exclusive. Oh my God, you guys. I want to show you something real quick. <laughs> We're not even, I mean, this box is still about halfway, so we still got quite a bit. So if you're hanging through, I appreciate you because there is so many. I'm telling you, close to 100 figures right here when, it com when you combine all of them. Now, this one right here. This one came with two vests. Um, this one came with the shield vest, not this one specifically, because this one was also, no, you know what? I think it was this vest. Was it this one? I'm going to have to go back and check it out. No, 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 this one had, because this one is non-removable. Yeah, this one is all glued together. This one right here, but I know this one either came with, uh, it came with a barricade as well as the silver. Yeah, it was a silver look for the vest as well as the actual like shield look. And I think this one also came with the WWE title. It wasn't that man. Dude, <laughs> Hero Fix is bound to botch. I can guarantee you that right now. The probability of the big dog hitting me with a Superman puncher after this video, it's, it's pretty likely, man. <laughs> right here. NXT TakeOver, the only NXT TakeOver Roman Reigns that we did get, and his, you know what, come to think of it, you look at every other big dog that I'm seeing right here in this pile, this is the only one that he's actually wearing trunks, early days for big dog were trunks, later on, when he got all shielded up, he got comfortable, and he never bothered to change ever again, so if you always were curious as to what the big dog looked, there you go, <laughs> except this one right here, I'll find him. But I know for a fact this one did have the head swap. Because once I find the Roman Reigns that was actually put out in this like wave right here that had the original scan, you're going to be like, why, Mattel? Why'd you do it? I'll tell you why. Because Rollins came to right here with the slammy. Well, he did not this one. This one is also a fix-up. Yeah, I'm not going to call it a custom on this one because there was really no paint apps and, uh, you know, applied. There was supposed to be some with a black tie. Never got a chance of doing it, but this is when he won the slammies and he had came out with the crutches right there. Screaming scan is only accurate just because the man was celebrating. Now, I did tell you, dude, we picked up several of these. Here's one of them. Here's the other one. So we got the one with the shirt. Burn it down. And then the, the look of it, it's, you know what, both of them actually do benefit, even though I ended up using both of the head scans to do an upgrade on those customs that you got that you guys saw earlier on in the video. So regardless, man, we got a happy Ambrose, and we got a man right here that's about to go into battle right there with the beasts, right? You got the, oh, man, I love these. I don't care if I have more than one. And you know what? I know Mac decals. I know if you're on here, bro, let me know if you're still enjoying that one because I know we had done a trade with the one that Hero Figs made before Mattel had released it. Next up, we have Elite Series 45. And hands down, it's got to be one. Still to date, one of my favorite Rollins Ambrose ever. Rollins Ambrose, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> One of my favorite Seth Rollins figures ever. No, it didn't come with the WWE title and US title, but you had to, you had to, you just got to add it on there, man, it, to give it that real feel of the completion of having this on the display. You got to have it with both, and you got to have it with the authority right behind him. That's how we had it laid out on the shelf. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at my shelf right now, and the authority still chilling over there, waiting for Rollins to come back to it. Right here, we have one NXT. We have NXT uh, Seth Rollins right there. Again, another one. First, first ever and only ever to ever be released in the NXT wave. I told you, dude, when I said earlier in the video that there was multiple releases of this one, there was, except there was the look of the head scan and the wrist tape. Same shirt, same pants. They said Mattel's like, you know what? How about we do the white wrist tape? He's worn white wrist tape, hasn't he? He sure has, Hero Fakes. You mind if I partake in this party? Sure, man. We got an Ambrose trio. Yeah! <laughs> you know what? It's not just a trio of Ambrose, but... Also, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. Here's the one. Here's the then, now, forever. And the, except this one had the swap because that one, dude, had like a red hair look to it. And it was just bothering me. As a matter of fact, I think you might have seen it on a previous figure early. Yeah, I, I had done a swap onto a basic because I needed to get that right, man. There was so, there were so many things wrong, so many things wrong with that, with that Dean Ambrose. But nonetheless, there it is. We got a couple of them. Superman Punch right here from series 93 early 90 series right here for this basic and then this one right here never got the conversion yet this is the thing that i like about these older ones because you still can convert it this one was aj styles battle pack again oh uh, yes aj styles and roman reigns battle pack with the dark no you know what that one was the brown one uh now that i think about it it was actually this one right here 
This is the Roman Reigns that was the battle pack with AJ Styles. A lot of similarities. I can see that. I can see where a hero fix would botch it. This is more orange. This one is actually brown. But we got it right, man. Hero fix remembered. And I told you. See, early. Where is it? Here it is. So here's the one from the basic uh, individual release. Battle pack release. Same look of the vest. Beard different. I think, you know what, this one might have also actually had the same beard on it. I just, I think I upgraded it to an elite, but I told you, man, there's there's a couple or several of these uh, Roman Reigns. I don't think for Rollins, well, I guess for Rollins that also applies, because if you gather all three of them, this one actually does have... Uh, re-release, well, no, because we never got it in the Mattel line, and we might never, because if you guys did see for the upcoming top picks, it's not this, it's actually the, the green one that I'll show you here in just a sec right here, so we have the one for Mattel, the basic that came with him, and was it Miss? I think it was Miss, yes, and this one also had the blue eyes, it actually, it was this scan that I used right there, I popped it off this one, and I used it, look at that, man, we got the celebration of of the Grand Slam champion, rightfully so, to have all three of them right there. Next up, we're, I, I want to find that one, man. I think uh, once I find that one, that's going to make the WHF collection just feel... Look at this. Check this out. We have... 57. Ooh, yeah, we got that right. <laughs> Elite Series 57. There is no notepad around me, by the way, you guys. This is all off the... What do they call it? Off the dome right here. This one had the shirtless Jeff Hardy in the wave. That's why I remember it was Baron Corbin, uh, Jeff Hardy, and there was the other ones that I can't remember right at the moment. But nonetheless, we have him. Also, uh, I think this one was another... Yeah, I have a couple of these. And the reason why is because I found them cheap enough on eBay. A lot of these uh, Seth Rollins, because you guys know we're always making the look, the updated attires that they do that he puts out in the... You know, in actual WWE. So I've picked up several of these as well as the top picks. So it's not that I'm trolling you. It's that I'm actually, I legitly pick up several of these. Like, for example, here's one and here's two. And I think there might be a total of three Seth Rollins right here in these boxes. Where it's the same top pick, or not top picks, the then now forever Walmart exclusives. As well as uh, the three-pack, because the three-pack had the same look that you're seeing right here, except it was a lighter gray. Here's the basic. Here was the pre-release before they gave it to us in Elite. So I got the shirt right there from one of the earlier. I don't think that one was custom figure shirts. Here it is. I told you, man. See, there's like three of them that have the same kind of look right there. This one was the brightest one out of them all. And with the two interchangeable shirts, the Burn It Down shirt that you saw right here with this Rollins, except, you know, with the, uh, the shield look as, yeah, they all had their own individual shield shirt, just like what you're seeing right there. And then they also had their own style of look to it. Next up, where are we going to go? We got right here, top picks. The last top picks. And yeah, because I had three. I think there was a total of three. The one that I had used to make the most recent one, the Beast Slayer look, was this actual uh, Elite. So now we only have one left in the collection. And the other one I had used for Mustafa Ali. You know what? This is actually, this is not the top picks. Because come to think of it, if you bring it up to the light, this one actually has the right line work that Mattel should have given us in the top picks. Because like, if you look at his actual attire uh, when he wears it, he's got like a dark line or a dark side. It's kind of gray. It's actually not even dark, but it's a gray, not just right there on the actual tights. But also on the knee pads, it stops right there and the kick pads. I know it all kind of looks the same how it blends in, but this is what we should have actually gotten right there with the top picks. And I also added on the Monday Night Rollins. This Monday Night Rollins shit, you know what? I think that that green one that we'll see here in the near future, I got to find it. But I know that Rollins, is, it's got to have, uh, it's going to have the Monday Night Rollins shirt. This one right here. This is the one that's going to get this shirt. So I know they haven't shown images of it, of it yet, but not only will it come with this shirt right here that you're seeing on this custom that I had made, but also it's going to have the actual belt. So that's really the only difference. And the scan, they went back to the old one instead of utilizing the one that we just got with Series uh, 59. This is the one from Battle Pack Series 59 with him. The final, the last Shield Battle Pack for ever so right there we have uh yeah all of them right there i how do you guys feel about that man how do you guys feel about that top picks being released in this wave dude it's still i still find it kind of frustrating i think had they made either the thanos one or the one that we just saw him wear at um uh wrestle no they can't do it uh, last year's wrestlemania now let's grab three more right here you know what 
This one, I think they come, yeah, this one was the Elite Series 61. I almost had it confused earlier because I know the Toys R Us exclusive also had the same gold look. The most current one, though, had him doing the Superman punch. So that's the, the look difference between this one and the Toys R Us exclusive. Same color, except different style right there on the actual vest. We have a couple of more sealed uh seth rollins customs this one was i think this one was a custom yes this one was because and the reason why i can tell that is because i still have to adhere it this one was uh the return when they actually did wear the look right there this is kind of what he was going with so i wanted to make a kind of like a custom look to it and then this was the actual release i think it was elite series 38 now this box i think might be empty there is a belt right here and i think that one went to rollins there is one final box and you guys will see that once this box gets done with dude you're gonna be like you see Serious, dude there you go we're gonna kind of power through these ones because i know you guys ain't enjoying the basics all that much so here's the one from the nxt got the one from the nxt we got the red one this one is non-removable later wave for sure similar to the rest of the other red ones except that instead of the superman punch we got the regular old roman reigns logo we have seth freaking rollins shirt pre-painted on shirt right there we have the first release before we got it in elite we had it in basic and i think this one was off the russell russell mania wave next up battle pack him and i can't remember the other character i know this one was a battle pack this one was also based off the thanos look except with the pre-painted on shirt roman reigns kind of what we saw with elite series 61 except in basic form and non-removable vest roman reigns won that we did do uh conversion and i just threw him back in here just because of the fact that i'm sure at some point we'll either need it for a fix-up or whatnot dean ambrose number four i <laughs> guess he had told i knew there was four of them so it looks like they released them in the curly hair look as well as the black wrist tape white wrist tape and same shirt and same pants oh my gosh mattel what's up with that my dude right here this is one that we never got in the league and I kind of wish that we would. I think it's too late to release this one. This one would kind of be, I don't want to say not relevant, but it's, yeah, it would be not relevant because he hasn't worn this in quite some time. And I know you're saying, bro, that's the same thing as the Elite Seer or the Then Now Forever. It's not, it's like a brighter silver. It's almost like a shiny yeah, it's like a glossy silver. It's 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 hard to explain the color, but it's definitely different and different enough to worth getting a release. Right here, the last figure in the wave, we have Dean Lonely Ambrose. Where are you going, bro? Tell us. Let us know. Don't leave us hanging. I know you said you wanted a release, but we don't want to see you going. We don't want to see Hero Fix massive pile. Look at this. Oh my goodness. If you stuck through this all, man, say S.H.I.E.L.D. is the GOAT. Let me know right now what you guys thought of. And don't forget, tell me which character you think stood out to you from the history right here of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.